Good morning. Good morning, Felix. Nice to see you. Mahi, good morning. Good morning, Kritik. Good morning, Shanti, ma'am. Deepthi, good morning. Good, good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Madhuka, sir. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Kaushi. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Raksha. Good morning, Kaush. Very good morning. Good morning, Lali. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Very good morning, everyone. It's so nice to see you all early in the morning. Very good morning, children. It's been very really nice to see you all on a Saturday morning, and that too in large numbers. I think I have hundred percent attendance today. Am I in mute? Ma'am Bhargav didn't join. No, ma'am. Okay, we'll wait for Bhargav. Wait, we'll wait for Bhargav. Okay, so some of the parents have not renamed the name of your children, so that's Hi. good enough. Hi. Good morning, morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, Hello, everyone. Good morning, children. Good morning, ma'am. Shanti ma'am, you can greet uh, the Deepti ma'am in case if you have any of your children, you can greet them. Meanwhile, I'm adding the teachers to the panel. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hi, hi, Titi Man. Hi, good morning, Tejaswini. Good morning, Ripika. Hi, Good morning, Kirna. Kanchini, good morning. How are you all? Good morning, Titi Man. Titi Man. Fine, fine. Good morning. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I am fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Good morning. I'm also good. Morning. Good 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 morning, Satwi. Welcome to one and all. Uh, there are certain. Uh, good morning, very good morning. Good morning, good morning to all of you. Children, good morning. We're starting in a minute, and I'm going to be muting everyone. And uh, we will be unmuting only during the Q and A sessions. We have limited time for the orientation program. First, the school is going to brief up about what is the content that we have for today. And slowly, we will take up the question and answers towards the end. You can keep a note of all of them and let's address it towards the end. There could be some common questions which is definitely addressed, which 
parents uh, and students do have it because it's an online platform for all of us. First of all, I would like to start with uh, wishing Sangeeta and Sarvana Prabhu on their 10th anniversary today. Uh, I know that they are not a part of it, but being uh, with associated with Trendbrain, I would like to wish them that they have the 10th uh, anniversary celebration today. So congratulations on that. Second, I wanted to start up with is like, you know, since the meeting request is for 40 minutes and if we do extend because of the Q&A sessions, you could rejoin the same meeting with the same login IDs and the passwords. So a uh, very good morning, Shibli ma'am. So we have Shibli ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. So, so parents, with your due permission, shall we start the event? So I think we have almost everybody who have joined the meeting for today. If it is yes, if you can just show us a thumbs up, we could actually start. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Ajay was asking for a common orientation. Ajay, yes, it's going to be a common orientation. Yeah. Giving any of the uh, curriculum as such, it's going to be a very quick, simple do's and don'ts, what we need to follow for our online sessions because our classes are going to start up with uh, Monday. Okay, so let's quickly get started with the session and uh, I do have a small recording for all of you and I would like to invite uh, Ms. Shanti to start up with this pre-recorded session and here we go. Let me quickly share the screen. Parents, can you see the video? Not yet, ma'am. Not yet? Okay. The video. Yep, we can see it, ma'am. You can see it? All right. Yes. Can you show? I think there's a lag. Yeah. Yes, we can see we it. can yeah, see, yeah, ma'am. Right. Okay. Sure. Is it still playing? I'm not able to see on the other end. No, we can't. No, okay, all right. Yes, children. Thank you, Shanti Ma'am, for lighting the lamp. And let's make the introductory part of it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. is not proper ma'am ma'am upadul can you mute everybody please sure sure sir yes we can, we can unmute during q and a session yes i would do that i would do that thank you thank you sir thank you shanti ma'am and how are Wow. Okay, everybody, please do not unmute yourself. Uh, thank you so much. We have some more participants who have joined. Thank you, Shanti, ma'am, for a great intro, and thank you, Monica and Shanti, for helping us light the dia. I have muted all the participants. Parents, uh, am I audible better now? Yes, okay. ma'am. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we should quickly begin. Yes. We should start with the. Uh, Children, uh, I would answer all your questions. I would just need another ten more minutes to start up with, and then definitely we would be able to interact with everyone. Okay, so it's a very quick introduction that I'm going to be sharing it with all of you. Is that okay? Yes. So here is what we we uh, would begin with. we we all know that we have started this online way of teaching and learning and we are all doing our school sitting at home and learning isn't that very difficult see sometimes we find it little difficult because uh, there are not much of resources available just like how we had it in schools sometimes uh, when we had uh, you know located in remote areas where there is network issues there are certain uh, problems that actually occurs definitely yes we do understand sometimes children might not be able to join on time due to network issues or the bandwidth lags and other things but what is much more achievable for all of us is like how can we actually build all those lessons so that you know it is reachable to everyone so that's the reason train brain has this pre recorded sessions which would be shared to the parent very much in advance a day before so even sometimes when there are certain issues that you have it due to connectivity and other thing you will be able to manage your lessons and you can actually incorporate the same thing to your children so what is one thing that we are going to be working is like you know the changing the entire outlook of how do we make our children learn i do have a lot of questions and aspirations like most of the parents do ask me like you know they are they do not set up for the online sessions they do not listen to me yes definitely yes they are younger children and they have almost every privilege and they are being with you at home definitely it is their right you know to be uh, uh, to take all the advantages uh, of your home and your own space and most of the children it's not only one or two it's like you know 90% of our children do take up that pride you know enjoying the legacy sitting at home so what do we do better how can we actually help children do better is like you know having a schedule uh, for our lessons so that you know a parent can also sit down with the uh, students it becomes uh, easier to focus in case if they are at least spending 5 minutes 
or 10 minutes with the child, come down and see if the child is focusing or what. The same thing, even children do not have a sitting tolerance for more than seven minutes. That, that's the reason what we also do is like, whenever we have a lesson for 40 minutes, the lessons are also broken down. We begin with circle time, then we begin with certain other introductory lessons to the classes, and then there would be a small interactive game which will be focused towards the lesson. And that's how the teacher is going to up you know so uh, uh children definitely need breaks and this is all being taken up just like the physical schools and you might be wondering is it the same at the physical school yes, even at the physical schools children do have issues settling down uh to the classes and uh having a physical uh uh, you know, um, uh, sitting tolerance for a longer period of time. So what works better for you and for the teacher? Like in case if we follow a schedule which is provided by the school, uh, make sure that your child is attending uh, three days classes so that, you know, the bigger tasks are broken down into the smaller ones and the plan goes really good enough with all uh, the actual plannings. So what can we actually do it at home is like, you know, uh, we would request a parent to set up a small desk or even you can set your dining table as your child's study desk or any cozy corner uh, wherein your child can sit comfortably and focus. Do not make them sit on the bed or couch or sofa because children do laze around and they actually feel very cozy over there. So uh, create a separate relaxation space, you know, so right from the TV or any other distractions, like if there are too many toys around please try and deviate all of that and create a small study center wherein you could keep all your child's books handy the stationery handy like crayons a color pencil some extra worksheets even a, a, a water bottle can actually be kept so that you know the child need not run around every time he or he, uh, she feels thirsty now what do we do according to this is like definitely you cannot do this without the help of School kit. school kit is like the curriculum books that we would be supplying and uh, students who are there in Bangalore have already received it and uh, for certain areas we have actually couriered the books and because of the lockdown and no proper uh, uh, you know uh, courier services in Bangalore we could not courier it to some of the parents and we are still uh, pipelined on that for students of grade one we have still not procured the books uh, from Chennai and Delhi because it's totally shut down uh, so if you have not received any of the books I would request the parents to walk into the school offices and purchase the books and uh, it can be given. So meanwhile, in case if you have not received the books, we would be sharing you the online ebook uh, ebook and you can go through that uh, you if you would like to write down the same worksheets you could do that or there is a digital access uh, also for all the books so you could revisit it and uh, uh, you might have a lot of questions saying like why is it so important I know like we have around 100% uh, um, or uh, more than 90% of the parents have already enrolled their children because they believe that uh, it is very important that we educate children below six years it's it's research proven because you know the more that you actually give it for children below younger six years um, they have a great communication and the foundation is laid really good enough because we would be working not only on the visual aspects we work on the auditory skills the sensorial skills the practical life the kinesthetic one inter and intrapersonal skills but how do we do or achieve all of that is only through the suggested resources like at earlier at schools what we used to do is like we, we followed the Montessori way of teaching and learning we had good num number of Montessori materials but what is very important now is like can we find the alternative resources which is a available at home and can we work with all that uh, all those particular uh, uh, exercises you know so we provide you suggested resources and the parent can actually work with all those suggested resources too so uh, uh, when once we follow this organized schedule for schooling it actually helps us to overcome our expectations we do have a, a milestone the child will have to be doing every quarter it's not only on the oral assessments but it's also on the writing assessments part of it so discipline is very important just like physical school so child should know how to sit down you know how to respond to the teacher to take up turns to individually uh, respect the other person also so these are certain things that we we as teachers can also so uh, include in the lessons, but you as parents also like in, in case if you can tell them like, you know, to be very patient. And since it's an online platform, the teacher sometimes might not be able to, uh, you know, call up every student's name. Say, for example, taking out the attendance, calling out every student might not be possible, but rather what she could do is like, you know, she oversees every student when they are writing like, OK, this boy is coloring. OK, I have Siddhant is coloring and Satvik is writing and Pratik is actually, uh, you know, like, uh, 
putting his head down and the children can actually uh, sorry the teacher can actually call out the different names and that's how the teacher would also be looking towards the child uh, is like within the class and he's being responsive and uh, getting attracted or performing the activity itself so self discipline has to come so uh, it needs a specific area it needs a specific place that you can actually do it so as a preparatory activity what you could do is like you know today or tomorrow itself you could set up a small desk uh, invite your child to set up their desk you can put a small cozy corner you can give them some planters over there so they could water the plant every day so all these things are like you know towards uh, uh, the self disciplining activity at the same time the child does take up the responsibility of watering the plant every day setting up his desk filling his water bottle setting uh, or uh, opening his books and closing his books and keeping his books in place all those things does matter like sharpening the uh throwing the trash into the trash bin all those smaller things uh, are towards introducing the self discipline and they take up a lot of responsibility of uh, doing uh, smaller tasks at home and it's a pride moment for all of us like it's not only teachers even for the parents now different kinds of activities to engage our children within the online classes is like you know once the teacher introduces the pre math or the pre literary skills and other things we could also bring in some montessori activities like say if i pick up a lower class children and we are doing or learning a letter a we could begin with tracing the letter at the same time the parent can actually keep a sand tray or a salt tray or any tray with which is filled with lentils and the child starts to trace over there now thereby the child gets the sensory experience at the same time he is also working on the literacy skills and gains the hand eye coordination so somewhere we are working towards adding some smaller games to our uh, uh, exercises we 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 work on uh, making sure that the children do understand a lot number of uh, categories and sequences and how well can we actually support uh, the math learning it could be patterns and other things and uh, circle times are there every day so this is what we work out and uh, they need a good brain Uh, workout i could say you know so kids will definitely wiggle whenever we start with our circle times and uh, and they actually work with uh, different kinds of uh, songs it could be thematic uh, it could be uh, rhymes which uh, includes with uh, the dramatic rhymes thematic ones uh, uh, the rhymes which is got which is more of action oriented and things like that so it'll all be based on the evs lessons so always remember to be very kind to yourself and those around you because sometimes we're all overloaded with so much of work especially like uh, when we have uh, the parent community where both the parents are actually working and at the same time they have one or two children at home it's going to be very very uh, you know a challenging task for them because they got to sit with their children around 9 9:30 or 10 o'clock for their online classes so please remember to exercise some kindness to yourself so uh, you know you could also introduce the same thing to your children so that they would also treat their classmates with great amount of compassion and respect you know so at schools we generally introduce this we have a peace corner table when the children are not okay they sit down on the peace corner and then they start working with some kind of a manipulative and then they come back to classes so that's how the grace and courtesy lessons would be introduced but the same thing can never be ignored in the online sessions too we need to be introducing all this so let me quickly introduce our members of the day so that was it i'm going to pause for a minute here and uh, if you have anything that we could take it down so please note down and um, now i would like to introduce the first member of our train brain family it's madhuka sir Madhuka sir, are you there? Hi. Hi everyone. Good morning. I'm going to pin you sir. One second. Oh, good morning sir. Good morning sir. Good morning sir. Good morning sir. So let me introduce Madhuka sir to all of you. Good morning. Good morning, children. I have muted all of you.
Uh, so let me introduce the members of the family. So I begin with Madhuka sir. He is the chairman and the co-founder of Trend Brain Education Private Limited. And he has 15 years of experience in early childhood education and care. Earlier, he had worked in an MNC as a software developer. And uh, his qualification is he's completed his bachelor's in mechanical engineering uh, in VGO University. And he completely takes care of our management. Thank you so much, sir, for being a supportive pillar with the Trade Brand family and encouraging all of us to do a good amount of work. And uh, your motivation has always been successful to all of us. So Madhuka, sir, is very quiet. So if you would like to reach him out, you can meet him one-to-one -one at the school office or you can directly call him on his mobile number. Okay, and he also takes up some of the chess lessons uh, in case if you're an older parent, uh, uh, you would know that he is uh, uh, very passionate towards playing chess and conducting the chess lessons for our students of uh, the younger generation. So thank you. And he has conducted various tournaments. And uh, yes, so he has conducted various tournaments as well. So that's Madhuka, sir. Thank you, sir. It was nice having you today. Thank you. The next uh, one is me. I think Shanti ma'am has already given me a good introduction about myself, but in case if you have joined a little late. So I'm Divya Madhukar and uh, I um, am the curriculum head and the, you know, uh, the content developer for the Train Brain Preschool. I work with the Training Institute. Uh, we do have two training institutes also apart from the preschools. I have 15 years of experience in early childhood education and care. Earlier, I was working with SAP Labs and ITC Infotech an Oracle CRM. So my qualification is I've completed my master's and uh, bachelor's in computer science. I've worked uh, uh, with uh, a good amount of training uh, um, sessions like diplomas in Montessori in early childhood development in multiple intelligence uh, and things like that. So my major goal is like, you know, teaching and training and being with the children. So that's a small introduction about myself. And then I would like to introduce uh, our senior most teacher, Shanti Ratakonda. So Shanti ma'am, uh, nice to have you today, ma'am. So Shanti ma'am has nine years of experience in early childhood education and care. Uh, she started her career as a preschool teacher. She was associated with Train Brain, and then she had a greater opportunity to work with bigger schools. And she worked in Global Indian International School for three years as a pre-primary teacher and has consistently uh, gained a lot many awards uh, in the same school. Uh, because of her dedication, her, uh, I could say, like innovative ideas that she brings in, her assemblies are always like worth taking and breathtaking, which can be remembered for a very long number of years. Okay, and she has joined us back uh, the last year, uh, and uh, she has supported immensely during this pandemic time. Uh, she has started with many activities like brain hugs, interaction lessons, and games, and things like that. Coming down to her qualifications, so she's a postgraduate in economics. Uh, she's done it from SU, uh, SV University. She has uh, diplomas in Montessori. She also has completed her trainings in painting and embossing. And she has also represented the university in basketball and volleyball. And she's always been a top athlete, you know. So you could always expect more number of games from Shanti Ma'am's lesson. So Shanti Ma'am, thank you so much for being associated. And she is the class teacher for grade one. And she would be taking up the language lessons for our students of Montri. Shanti ma'am, very much welcome to our class. And if you'd like to say hi to your students, I would be very happy. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi ma'am. Hey, good morning. Very good morning to all of you. Okay, uh, quickly, yeah. we'll just, quickly, quickly, we'll do a brain hug. Let's no. we'll do a brain hug. Let's take your hand. Put the hand. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Clasp your arms. Clasp your fingers. And give yourself a brain hug. Yay. Love you all. See you soon. Waiting for me to see you all. Uh, eagerly waiting to meet you all. Uh, I really 
request Amal ke liye uh, talk to sentence to the parents Amal can I just can I say two uh, things to parents you can go ahead. yeah I request all the parents try to practice for the kids to mute and unmute and turn on the video and turn off the video please try to practice this it helps me a lot for my class <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Shanti. Thank you so much. And the next teacher who we have today is parents. I think we have another teacher. And after this, we would be joining again with the same meeting ID. If we get different, we're going to be joining the same meeting ID. I'm going to be talking all. So we'll we'll uh, quickly introduce everybody and then we can say a quick hi. The next teacher for the day whom, whom we have is Sushma Ma'am. And Sushma Ma'am is not with us today as uh, her father-in-law is yes, and she's putting uh, uh, and his family right now. So Sushma Ma'am was associated yes, as a student okay. and later she became the assistant teacher. And now she has also got six years of experience uh, in teaching and training the early childhood education and care. She's completed her bachelor's in education and diploma in Montessori. The contributions of her is like she's extensively worked as a math teacher and an EVS teacher throughout. And she has been a great Montessori uh, teacher. And her, most of the videos have been proudly presented to our students of uh, the Montessori uh, classes. So Sushma Ma'am is not there with and she's going to be the class teacher for uh, Mont 3 and an EVS teacher for classes of Mont 2, Mont 3 and grade 1. So she will connect with all the students very shortly. And moving on to the next uh, class we have is Deepti Mai Sethi. So Deepti ma'am is also a student uh, and a, was a student of trade and uh, when I say train brain, it's like on the teacher training institute and she also assisted us for almost like two years and then as a main teacher for six years and her work towards the train brain family has been commendable. Deepti is a very, very quiet teacher, I would say. A passion in doing something real and doing something new is like, you know, which actually, you know, motivates me also to work with her and she is a great enthusiastic teacher. She has amazing art skills and Deepti's artwork is still now being used and uh, she, she creates a lot of art lessons for most of the classes and she has completed her uh, uh, master's, I could say, in uh, the uh, mathematical concepts. And that's the reason she was be, she'll be taking up the math lessons for our students. And the contributions, whatever she has, is like, you know, in planning the lessons or conducting the unit tests, making the assessments for our children, be it oral, be it summative, has contributed a great insight to the students of uh, TBPS and to the entire team. So that was for Deepti. So congratulations, Deepti. We are very proud to have you today. And uh, uh, I'll move on to the next teacher. We have uh, for the next teacher, Deepti ma'am and the other teachers, I will be giving you uh, a quick introduction and you could say a quick hi to your children uh, towards the end. The next teacher we have is Monica ma'am. She's an early childhood educator. Monica has four to five years of experience as the early childhood educator. Sure. She worked extensively with the younger kids, and I must admit, I must admit that Monica is very flexible. She's outstanding in whichever areas that she is, and she's very agile. Um, she starts the classes with uh, 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 the time. She's done a lot of previous sessions. She's done a lot of uh, sessions on picture dictionary with younger kids, art and craft, EPL skills, Montessori sensorial activities. So I could say the contribution is not only like she's allocated to a particular subject, but uh, Monica is like, uh, uh, you know, an all-rounder, I could say, you know. So she has not only contributed last year for one section, but all, almost like for all the sections. And it is never a no from her most of the time. So thank you. Thank you, Monica. We would cherish all your sing-alongs, your art lessons, your science experiments, the school calendar events, and many more. And she's allocated as the Mont 1 class teacher. Monica, welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next who we have is uh, Shivli Ma'am. So Shivli Ma'am has just recovered from COVID. Shivli Ma'am, how are you doing? 
I'm doing good, ma'am. All right. I'm so good, good to know, ma'am. and we're glad that you you you're with us. Okay. So yes, ma'am. Glad and we're happy that you have recovered. Yes, okay. ma'am. I'm also so happy. <laughs> Happy to happy to see you, ma'am. So, so Shivli, ma'am, again, uh, was associated as a parent of uh, Abhikyan in our school. And later, she took up the training and she assisted us for two years. And later, she became the class teacher. And over a six years of experience, she has taken up a lot many Montessori classes, and she has got a great experience. Uh, she, uh, she is qualified in economics. She's got a master's degree in economics and she has completed a diploma in Montessori. So most of the times, Shivli ma'am had handled Mont 1 playgroup and Mont 2 students. You could say by the time that you look the smile at her, uh, you know, of her face itself, like children are very calmed. Children are very composed because of Shivli's utmost patience, I could see. She has contributed more towards the cultural aspects, the human Hindi classes for our students and more more number of school activities like annual events, being very creative towards you know, bringing up the new conceptions for our children. And for this academic year, Shivli ma'am is allocated to grade one Hindi. Congratulations, Shivli ma'am, and uh, very happy to be associated with you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And coming down to the next teacher who we have is Tripti ma'am. Tripti ma'am has got four years of experience and she was also a student. She joined as a trainee teacher at Train Brain and now she's got four years of experience as an early childhood educator and uh, care. She has completed her bachelor's and master's in education. At the same time, she's also completed a master's degree. She has a Montessori and is a very, very spontaneous teacher and her math lessons are commendable. So she takes up a lot of uh, conceptual learning for children and she uses a great amount of technologies and techniques and so that you know the math lessons are made much more easier to be introduced and it's like you know always her period gets over within 15 minutes and I'll be like you know how could you do it so quickly it is just the way that she teaches anything that is very difficult to do so easily and uh, so quickly so Tripti ma'am so thank you so much for your great lessons and uh, we're very happy to have you. And she's allocated as the math teacher for students of uh, Mont uh, 2, sorry, the class teacher for Mont 3. And she's also taking up the EVS session and Mont 3. Congratulations, Tripti ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And at last, we have Namrata Ragashetti. So Namrata is not able to support his life academic year due to personal reasons but she would be working towards recording the asynchronous sessions on stories and rhymes and the music and movement sessions for all our children and Namrata is one of the senior most teacher that we have she's got a nine years of experience and uh, in the early childhood education care. and uh, she holds a bachelor's in education master's in economics and diploma in Montessori she is a great storyteller her sing-alongs are commendable she has worked amazingly with children of two to six years of age. And she's one of the senior most teacher, as I said, and she handles our Dodan Equity branch for all our admissions and inquiries. So Namrata couldn't join us for this meet, but uh, her work is always with us and she would be supporting us, you know, offline uh, during the school events. So this is our team. Uh, so we would quickly hold over here and rejoin the same meeting request. So that, you know, we take up uh, the next further queries, like, you know, what is the timetable? How are we starting? Uh, what, what are the uh, uh, important things that we, we have to be uh, uh, looking at, you know? So those are something that we will be looking towards. And uh, I'm going to be uh, ending this meeting and we will all rejoin the same meeting now quickly so that, you know, we could take up uh, the timetable and what is the agenda uh, for the entire academic year? What are our thoughts? Uh, the time to pros and cons. So thank you, parents. Uh, quickly rejoin the meet. I'm going to end this meeting and we're going to rejoin again. I'll see you soon in another five minutes. Thank you.